Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to remove an image from a page that has a background and place that image on a transparent background. The reason you want to do that is if you want to use that image in a video program. And I'll show you what I mean. This is Adobe Photoshop Elements, and we're going to open a file. File, and I'm going to open something I recently had open. This is a uh, box shot from Sony of a product that they sell. And most of your manufacturers will have uh, PR box shots that you can use. And I want to use this in the video as a drop down. And to do that, I, I can drop this down, but it's got this white background that I want to get rid of. And I'll show you how to get rid of that white background. First thing you want to do is select the Magic Wand tool and come over and click in the white area of this image. This would be the background color if you have a different background color. And you notice how it selected all the white. What we want to do next is go up to select and select inverse. And what inverse does is selects everything but white, which is the background that we want. And now all we have to do is click edit and then copy. And that copies the box in the memory. And then file and new and blank file. And under blank file, we want to select a preset of the NTSC DV. This is the video preset. So we select it. We want to make sure the background is transparent. And that creates a new transparent page for us. And now we're going to select edit and paste. And this paste that image that we had in memory. And there's that, that box on a transparent background. Now that may be a little bit larger than you want to use since this is a full video screen. And it's really easy to resize it just by clicking the select tool and resizing that box and putting it wherever you want to use it. For example, I may want to use it right there. To do that, I just click that X. And now that I've selected it and put it where I want it, I want to save it. And for video use, your transparent background should probably be a PNG file. So we'll save this file, save as, and then we'll go over and make sure that we select PNG, which is right there, and we'll give it a name. And I'm going to call this Sony Box Shot Small. And save. And generally, when I want to save, I want to save, save this. If I'm going to use it for video, it'd be displayed on TV as interlace. I click OK. And it's done. That's how easy it is to remove an element from a background and put it on a transparent background for use in video. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.